This video is a quick introduction on how to fill out the Motion Constant Speed Investigation document. The first thing you will do is answer the problem question, how do you know if a car is traveling at a constant speed, where the speed does not change? You don't need to look anything up for this question, you're just using prior knowledge and trying your best. Next, you'll move on to watch the videos for car A and car B. You will then answer the two prediction questions, which car is moving at a constant speed, and you'll be telling us how you know. After that, you'll move on to the reading and interactive. You have two choices for this. You can watch a video read aloud or read the Introduction to Motion webpage on your own. As you go through the reading or watch the video, you want to look out for the following words, constant speed, average speed, velocity, and acceleration. You will be defining those in your own words in the boxes below. You'll notice in the Introduction to Motion reading, there are words highlighted in blue. If you hover over those words, it will give you a simple definition of those words that you can use to help you come up with your own definition for each of them. Next, you'll watch a car A and car B video and look at the data charts that follow. So for car A, you'll be examining the car A data chart and watching the car A video. And for car B, you'll be watching the car B video and examining the car B data chart. You're going to want to notice what differences you see in each of these two graphs and note that answer below. Finally, you'll be writing what is called a CER. There is a video explanation posted here. I do encourage you to watch it. You'll be answering the question to come up with a claim, car blank is traveling at a constant speed. So basically your choices for this would be car A or car B. You can base this on the videos as well as the data charts above. You're going to include evidence for why you believe the car you chose is traveling at constant speed. Your evidence should come from one or both of these data charts. And then finally, you're going to explain how your evidence shows that the car you picked is traveling at constant speed. Your evidence and reasoning should both be in full and complete sentences. If you have any questions, please reach out. 